y'all. Today is Sunday, February 10th. It's like 7.20. There you go. It's like 7.20. Now I'm about to do my worksheet on collecting, processing, and testing blood specimens. Yeah, I just thought I could come on here and start the vlog for this week because it's Sunday. Not much to update you on here, but <laughs> I just thought I'd come on here and say what's up. So, what's up? I'm about to do some of my homework and then I'll talk to you guys later. I guess I record myself doing it. I have my textbook online here because everything is online now these days, even though I would prefer to have like the actual book with me. But that's just how my teachers do it. hey y'all so it's tuesday i just got home or no today's monday not tuesday and i just got home from track practice and i'm about to get ready to go to my volunteership and it started raining today while we were outside of running and my ends are swelling and separating can you tell i'm pretty sure you can see it because look at this one this one did not this one stayed true but this one is it this is fine it stayed true but the rest of these you see that all the frizziness you see this one right here you know what that means braid out tonight so that my hair won't continue to unravel and swell also again the ones that are braided at the end those did not budge let me try to get one i think this is one this one was braided this one's braided whereas this one It's twisted. I can probably find more that look worse than that. Because I definitely have. But I just want to show y'all real quick. So whenever my hair gets like this. You already know. It's time to braid. This is a good one. Okay. This is probably the best example that I can give you of one that's braided. Do you see this? You can exactly see where this one stops being twisted and starts braiding. Every time I try to show y'all something, it goes wrong. And I can't find one. Okay, this one. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. This one is an example of a twisted one. I hope you can see. I hope you can tell. Hey, guys. So, today is Thursday. And um, last time we spoke was on Monday where I told you guys that I ran in the rain for track. And every time I run in the rain, I get sick. So I got sick and I didn't go to school yesterday or today. I didn't go Wednesday or today because Tuesday night, like, I was just out of it completely. So... Um, I took NyQuil, not the green kind. It was like this cold and flu kind because I'm pretty sure that I had a cold. Um, yesterday I had a fever of 100 degrees and I was just feeling bad like all day. And um, 
today still feeling kind of bad the only reason why my hair is out of the twist that i put it in was because i had it like that for three days and i wasn't sure if it was okay for me to like keep it that way so um i just took it down uh yeah i don't know if i'm gonna go to school tomorrow because i just mm -mm, like it's not there I mean, I feel a little bit better than I did yesterday, right now, but I still don't even want to think about going. So right here, I'm just working on my English paper, just in case, just in case I feel like going tomorrow, because it will be due tomorrow, and um, I have a lot to do, because I just started working on this today, and I've been behind on this paper, like we have checkpoints, and I've been behind because I just... Mm -mm. Um, I think I told you guys what I'm going to write about for this research paper. Um, I'm writing about the American dream and how it has shifted from the pursuit of happiness, I mean the pursuit of happiness to the pursuit of material things and, um, you know, mass consumerism. But yeah, so I've been taking NyQuil, but, um, tonight I decided to not take it and to take this tea instead. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, so you can just go ahead and screenshot it. This tea, guys, was almost as bad as taking NyQuil, like a little shot of NyQuil. Taking, like, less than a cup of this tea was almost as bad as that. Uh, so I'm hoping that's going to work because it was really nasty. <laughs> Saturday. I know I didn't record yesterday, but just you didn't really miss nothing. Let me just give you the rundown. Um, first of all, I have my retainer in, so if I sound a little lispy, that's why. Um, so yesterday I woke up. Y'all know how bad I was feeling on Thursday. You already know that this week has not been it for me. I have been sick pretty much all week. I didn't go to school Wednesday or Thursday, and Thursday, last time y'all seen me, I said that I was going to try to go to school on Friday, which was yesterday. I did try, but um, I ended up going home early because I was feeling really bad. And the thing was, it's just different, I guess. Like, I was starting to feel better, but it's different whenever you at home and not really doing anything and like whenever you have to go to school and have to be alert and like you know very just aware not aware of your surroundings but you know what I mean like you have to be alert and aware because you're at school and you have to you know do all these things so um I was not feeling it so I went home early and then yesterday I just slept all day pretty much so today's Saturday and y'all it's like 10 o'clock in the morning and i'm about to bake some cookies because i I've, I've been sad this week because i've been sick and i want to make some cookies so i'm about to make some period so um the type of cookies that i'm going to be making are they are vegan based but they're not going to be vegan because i'm going to add chocolate chips to it uh I already have a video like of me making it, but I'm going to link, I'm going to try my best to link down below like the recipe for these, but basically all you need is flour, um, I use this earth balance butter that I get from H-E-B, um, brown sugar, and I like to put sprinkles in mine, so I want to use sprinkles and uh almond milk and these chocolate chips 
I like to get the minis because I feel like the mini chocolate chips taste better than the normal size. I know that that's probably not the truth, but they do. So I've been making these cookies for about three years now. Like, or not even, I don't know. For a long time, these are like my go-to cookies. And also, after I make the cookies, y'all are going to be so disappointed in me. But I'm going to have some pizza too. Because... Like I said, I've been sick and I can finally taste again. So I want to have cookies and I want to have pizza and that's it. I want to show y'all the medicine that I've been taking last night. I took some NyQuil, but it wasn't the green kind. I thought that the green kind was the worst NyQuil that you could possibly ever have, but it's this one. Like point blank period. This NyQuil, it's the severe cold and flu one. Um, it's for headache, fever, sore throat, minor aches and pains, nasal sinus congestion, which you can probably tell by the sound of my voice, I have that, sneezing, running nose, and coughing. So, I took this one last night, and also like the previous nights, it's red, and it tastes nasty, and the reason why it's so bad, like worse than the green one, is because... It's like they tried to make it taste good. Like, I thought that it was cherry flavor, but I'm just not looking on here. And it says strawberry and blueberry. But it tastes so bad. Like, it tastes like... like I just prefer, like, medicine to just taste like medicine and just be nasty. But whenever they try to put, like, mask the grossness with a flavor, it's even worse, in my opinion. So... I wouldn't recommend that one, but I do feel a little bit better because I took that one last night. Thursday, though. Let me show you something. On Thursday, let me let some light in here. Thursday, I took this tea, which I think that I showed y'all this already. I'm not sure, but it's called like Sarasi. 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 I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think that this tea was actually worse than the medicine, like the NyQuil medicine that I took. But this one is supposed to be really good for you. You're only supposed to take this like to detox. It's supposed to cleanse your blood. So I think that maybe once a week. You're not supposed to take it like seven. I don't think you're supposed to drink this like... This is not something that you're supposed to drink every day. So... Don't do that, but if you need like a little cleanse like once every couple of weeks, you know, cleanses your blood, then maybe you should try this. Uh, it's really gross, so I'm, I'm warning you, okay? It's so gross. Like, I had only a little bit of this, actually, not even a whole cup. You don't even need a whole cup. Y'all, it was so gross. I was taking like a sip of the tea, trying to hold my breath, and then like I had a spoonful of honey on the side to come to my rescue. And I would lick the spoon and then drink the tea. But I could still taste it even though I was holding my breath. Like, it was just, mm -mm. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and make my cookies. And I'm going to eat and I'm going to enjoy myself. Um, actually not even enjoy myself because I need to go ahead and start on the homework that I have missed over the past week. And this coming week is going to be a really hard academic week for me because I have a lot of tests and quizzes and stuff going on. So, I need to get my life together. And I want to start with baking cookies. By the way, I'm just watching Raven's old vlogs from like three years ago. All right, so now we're on to the best part of making your cookies, adding in whatever it is you want to add in. Look at those mini chocolate chip cookies. I mean, look at those mini chocolate chips. I love the minis over the normal size because i don't know i feel like it's just better because i don't like too much chocolate hold on i'm trying to open this with one hand it's not working okay and now for my sprinkles i love these sprinkles what does that say wilton i don't know got these from heb too so 
love them love them they just give that subtle you know the subtle pop of color that you need i'm gonna go ahead and put these on the baking sheet and bake these for 10 minutes oh and also a good thing about having vegan based dough is that you can eat it raw um it's probably not the best for you anyway but you can eat it raw without getting salmonella so that's good too so i'm going to be baking it onto the sur la top um so that i won't be wasting you know this is called parchment paper so that i won't be wasting parchment paper i'm adding some more sprinkles and some more chocolate chips okay for real i'm gonna put them onto the baking sheet now all right so i'm gonna be using this little cookie scooper that's what i call it but it's really just like a one and a half tablespoon um size and it's just like a ice cream scooper probably can't see so now i can see that so i get these like i use this so that i can get into like a perfect like little ball shape so i'm trying to do this all camera in one hand and trying to do this so got the dough bam all right so we got all our cookies on here this is the first batch because i don't have enough space on here to make more or to put more on here so we're going to set the timer for 10 minutes no more no less and we're going to see how these come out i hope that they came out all right the only thing that i did differently was i used baking baking flour instead of the all-purpose because i didn't really have enough all-purpose i mixed the baking flour and the all-purpose flour i hope i didn't mess up like the chemistry of the you know the food or whatever so i hope that it comes out okay we gonna see okay the oven just dinged let me go see they look good they actually look better than what they look like with the all-purpose flour so that's good oh my gosh that's y'all look look at how good they yes 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 all right y'all so i'm about to take these off of here let them cool put the other batch on eat my cookies eat my pizza and 10.56, I guess I can watch some daytime TV. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> okay, y'all, so it's much later. It's like 12-ish. And I've been really... I just wanted to show y'all that I had a Twitter account because I don't really talk about it as much. Um, but I have really been doing it on Twitter. Like, I've been tweeting, you see all this stuff? I've been tweeting and just being on Twitter because it's so fun. Like, I didn't realize how fun and funny it is but it is if you don't have a twitter account you should get one and if you already do then you should check out my tweets because what now i think that i've started to get the hang of it because at first it was just really confusing to me so um now i think i got it and it's really fun and i tweet and i think that i'm funny and i would like you for you to see my funniness so my twitter is at takira and um it is also linked down below and if you don't have one you should consider getting one and tweet with me and tweet at me because i want to talk to y'all all righty hey guys so it's still sunday i mean it's still saturday it's about 6 54 and i'm at carl's jr this one is a little bit further away from my house because y'all know that the one that was near my house was shut down for some reason. But I'm here to look for the Beyond Burger that I've been wanting to try. Do you see it anywhere on the menu? Yes, I do. Look at it. It's all big and stuff on the menu. So I'm about to try it and see how it is. Hello, can I get two Beyond Burgers? Just a burger? Uh, the whole meal. <laughs> With a Sprite. For both of them? Uh, you, want, you want medium or large combo? A medium. 
Do you say you want to spray on both of them? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Is it go? You want anything? All right. Uh, nineteen oh one second window. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I have the burger. It looks normal. I don't know. I hadn't had a burger in a really long time, to be honest. This is what the patty looks like. Can you see it? Blink three times. <laughs> okay. It tastes good, I guess. It'll do. It's good. All right, y'all, so I'm back at home. That was probably the weakest review that you've ever seen in your life. I'm so sorry. But, um, I think that, like, the burger, it was good. I don't know if I would buy it again. It was just that it tasted like, I think that it was just overhyped. And I think that's it. It wasn't bad. It was just overhyped. And I was expecting to be wowed. And I was not. So, I'm glad that I tasted I'm glad that I was able to taste it though because I've been hearing a lot of people say like oh like the Beyond Burger is it like it is so good it is amazing and to be honest with y'all the only vegan or the only plant based like replacement meat that I've had that's actually been good is the chicken I showed y'all those little chicken nuggets from that brand that I showed y'all about a couple of vlogs ago that that is spot on but um yeah, I think that I would just rather not eat a burger again than to eat it. I mean, I am still getting over a cold, so maybe my taste buds are just whacked out. But I don't know. It just wasn't... It just wasn't... It wasn't wow. That's really good. You know? So, um, that is about it. My mom tried it, and she has not been eating. She hasn't had beef in like four or five years and she liked it so there there's that but I did not um I'd rather just stick to my little chicken strips yeah I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog off here thank you guys for watching my vlog if you watched it all the way to the end please comment down below this emoji uh, in celebration of my sickness <laughs> So, I'll talk to you guys in another vlog. Um, thank you for watching. And I'm out. Oh, don't forget to hashtag and we out in the comments. Now. And I'm out.